Hello, hello, this is Misty. This is Misty. Yes, we about to get right in it. So today, I come to you today in the energies of knowing. We would like to know if you stop communicating with, if I stop communicating, it don't mean we have beef. I just seen your snake-like energy. And it was just too much for me. Okay. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you in the energy of knowing. We would like to know these energies of why one saying that we have beef with another because we stop communicating with faith people. Okay. So, the first energy that wants to come out is the Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, and when one is in the five of cups in reverse, they are in an energy where they feel like they lost something. They are in an energy where they feel regrets, setbacks, losses of friends or social status. Many may be receiving disappointments in love. What is the other energy, Holy Spirit? The other energy is the Ace of Wands and it too. No, I'm looking at it wrong. It's not in reverse. This is the Ace of Wands. And when the Ace of Wands appear, one is in the energy of renew, rebirth, new beginnings, new love, new adventures. And they are emotionally and physically balanced. This person is in an energy where their cup is running over with goodness. Their cup is running over with abundance. Their cup is running over with blessings, grounded, grounding, and spirituality. What is the other energy, Holy Spirit? The other energy is the nine of wands, and it too is in reverse. So, this person that you stop communicating with is in a nine of wands in reverse energy and you better re, re, uh, pe better prepare for assault because this person is in defense mode. This person wishes you home because you left them alone. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energy of knowing. We want, we would like to know these energies of these people, but we would like to start this off today with the heart chakra. The first chakra of the day is the green heart chakra. Yes. And the heart chakra represents the stone of Jasper, moss, agai, and emerald. The other stone is the rose quartz and the green adventuring. Okay, so Holy Spirit, the characteristics directly associated for forgiveness and compassion. The heart chakra uh, involves uh, issues that may include fear of loneliness, dependency on others, depression of spirits, betrayal, heart disease, or cancer. The, the heart chakra affects the heart, the blood circulation, and immune system. The affirmations for the heart chakra is, I have unconditional love and compassion for myself and others. I release the past and embrace who I am now. So this is another reason why I am wearing green. Because I am opening up my heart chakra and I'm meditating more on my, my chakras. And right now I'm focusing on the heart chakra because it feels like that's where I need the most growth because I have all these people around me that seem like they trying to harvest, take, or steal my energy. So I am working on my heart chakra for that reason. But anyway, yes, we start this thing off with I stop communicating. Doesn't mean that, I, that we got beef. Seeing you in that snake-like energy was too much for me. And I feel like I dodged the bullet. I dodged the bullet from BS. I dodged the bullet from back trail and betrayal from that fake love straight up to my face. So, yes, I dodged a bullet from fake friends. I dodged a bullet from people showing me fake love. So, this is the dodging bullet card. This is the dodging bullet from fake friends. 
and I dodged a bullet from fake love straight up to my face. Yes, one acts in that energy. Do I miss you? I sure do. I think of you sometimes, but I'm putting me first. This is the energy of what's going on today. I don't have time to be in that energy of someone backstabbing me, talking about me, and doing hateful things, hateful, evil things behind my back. This is why I cleanse my space from you haters. I cleanse my space. I started to do me, and now I'm in that healing energy, avoiding bullshit, avoiding drama, avoiding people and their narcissistic kind of ways, and staying to my MF and self. Because one thing that I found out, you fake friend, you are a spiritual hater. On the low low, you was being a copycat, trying to be like me fake friend on the low low you was trying to be a slick bitch yeah mm. on the on the low low these freak friends i think they are i think these facially challenged face and friends i think they need a faciotomy girl your ass is so ugly the damn cut won't even try to sneak away from your mouth to avoid them sharp teeth and that fucked up face. Yeah! Don't flatter yourself. Your opinions is just like a, it's just like your bank account. It's insufficient. It's in the negative, darling. It means nothing to me. I'm too busy in my energy where I am receive abundance, a receiving abundance. I don't have time to beef with stupid people. I don't beef with stupid people that's not on my level. You can't get up on my level. Why would I beef with somebody that ain't even on my level? I don't even know you. Didn't I leave you alone? You don't even exist to me. So please stop directing that negative energy over my way. I have proved that I don't want to deal with you. I have proved that I don't want to be friends with you no more. I'm not beefing with you. I just don't fuck with you. Simple as that. Hmm. I don't fuck with you, but you seem to fuck with me. Because every chance you get, you on my social media trying to figure out what's going on with me. Evidently, you fuck with me. You always got some negative, unwanted opinion about me. But it's understandable. I understand what kind of person you are. And I pay you no mind because you are a narcissist. I pay you no mind because you couldn't keep your hands to yourself and have domestic violence. I pay you no mind because your ass is goes through a sociological path or pathological distress with your mood strings. No one wants to be bothered with that fake friend. You know that energy where you say you were sorry. You wasn't saying sorry fake friend when you fucked me over. You wasn't saying sorry fake friend when you was backstabbing me in my back. I'm like Stevie Wonder in this bitch. Oh Stevie Wonder, I'm so blind babe. I'm so blind babe. I don't see that shit that's going on. You done already fucked me over, fake friend. I can do bad all by myself. I don't need no help to stop the goddamn death. So, we have these fake friends of yours, Collective. They are still watching in the shadows. They're still minding your business. And they're having nightmares from them fucking you over. They're having insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, and unable to sleep. And these fuckers have bags underneath of their eyes for fucking with you. These fuckers have bags under the eyes for being abusive to you. Now these fuckers want to take a U-turn and bring it back over to your domicile because you're over there healing. They want to bring it over to your domicile because they never satisfied with the lover that they got. He was his woman and he turning around looking at another. They want to be your friend again because they did that magic on you and that shit didn't work. And now they're in the energy where they're 
straight out of no cash. It's the motherfucking divine masculine. Come in like a knight, but leaving out faster. He'll fuck your sister, fuck your cat. He'll even try your mama, but she wasn't having that. He like to feel it, like to fuck it. And when he get done, he just say fuck it, but he's still straight out of no cash. Yes, this one is straight out of no cash, honey. But he finds his way to paint crunch people upside their head. This is the Ike Eat the Cake anime. He got some Ike up in him. Yes. And yes, this one wants to come back over there because they thought that the grass was greener on the other side, honey. I didn't stop communicating with you, darling, because your ass is crazy. You got mental health issues. This is the mental health concerns call. Left your ass alone, fake friend, because you show me that fake love straight up to my face. You the one that showed me the unrequited love. You the one that showed me unmatched and unreturned love. That's what you did to me. I didn't do that to you, fake friend. Fake friend, you showed that your ass is dumb as dishwater and you have a low IQ, fake friend. Fake friend, why are you still envious of me if I left your ass alone because you was a snake? Just deal with it. You're a fucking snake and stop being fucking envious. Yeah, I will be putting a bitch in their place. I'm putting a bitch in your place because you are not my friend. I have left you alone. I do not want to be friend with fake people. And yes, I will put you in your place. I will speak to your ass and say bye. That's all you will get from me. Fake friend, why are you so obsessed with me? Go find yourself something to do and better yourself. And then I wouldn't be the topic of someone's discussion. Me and my money. Yes, this is the card of... Make you're making strong relationships with your money. You are making brand building with your money. You are making a list and being aligned with technology with your money. These people is mad. These people is mad because you living that life of the single female and you're happy with it. Meanwhile, those that fucked you over is going through fidelity issues. And yes, this came in reverse. Somebody is being cheated on. Yes, somebody is being cheated on. Somebody is being stepped over by their toxic lover. And guess what? Everybody got something to say about it. Everybody got something to say about the ring of a ding dong. Ding dong ding ring a -le ding dong Ding dong ding ring a -le ding dong Ding dong ding They want to sling that ding a ling -a. It was not so long So long ago They packed their shit and they said, hell no, she said, go be with them bottom feeders. Because you know your motherfucking ass is a cheater. Go on with your ass. Go on with your ass. Because you're not going to put my life in danger using no damn protection. Because this came in reverse. So we're dealing with one. That one do not want to be in that fake friend energy. I will speak to your dirty dick ass. Because you ain't nothing but commit. You ain't nothing but community genitalia. You don't protect yourself. You don't care or love yourself. Spraying yourself thin with people without protection. Okay? Yeah, and it come out again. Nasty. You need to understand. You need to make love to your hand. You don't need no sex then, honey. You better play with that thing like it owe you money. Yeah, what's wrong with these people? They want to put their lives in danger just to feel some skin. Child, they be doing the most. They be doing the most. That's all this going to say. Is this cause they doing the damn most? Yes, they be doing the damn most because they're spiritual narcissists. That's why they do the most. They do the most, honey, because they want you and Mr. O'Reilly too. This is the sometimes I'm gay for pay. So, 
We have the meat. We have one out here that like the first pack of things. Yes, and they are mentally confused. They are mentally confused. They don't know what was going on. Going on. It is so many things going on. Yes. One thing that's going on, they receiving their MF and karma. And another thing that's going on, we know that they have bad traits. And another thing that go on, one of those traits is that they're MF and childish. Another trait is that this MF got bipolar disorder. Yes! And they thought the damn grass was green on the other MF side. This is why they smoke all the goddamn time and say, put that shit in the air. This is the energy that they in. And this is why this MF is always crying. Yes. So we would like to know, Holy Spirit, I have not did this in a long time. The prayers of the day. Yes, we need some prayers. At least I know I need some prayers. Because these little haters, hater energy, hater energy harvesters, these hater harvester energy stealers, Yes, they've been doing some things, honey, to try to steal my energy. And the thing is, you know when you're being tested because you pointed out, like yesterday, I do not understand. I'm inside of McDonald's. I make, I put in, first of all, I don't like McDonald's latte, but I drink them. They taste horrible. I was having headaches, so... Coming down the road from Baltimore yesterday, I couldn't, I kept trying to locate a Starbucks, could not find one. So, going down the way, coming home, it was a McDonald's at like one of those chop stops. So, I stopped there, got the McDonald's, and I didn't want to wait in the line, so I did a little mobile thing. Child, after doing the little mobile thing, so the lady was like, we don't have it. And I was like, well, are you going to get my money back? She won't tell me to call someone a call some some number, some 301 number. So I pull over and call the number. She picks back up the phone again. I'm like, excuse me, lady, why would you give me the number to your store and you can't give me the money back? First of all, why did this app um uh let me make a uh a, a, a order and you didn't have what I want? I don't know, man. So I'm sitting over there trying to um say something to her. So she gets mad right off the break. Like, don't want to help me or nothing right there. Right then and there, in her face, I said, okay, that's fine. Can you give me something else? I don't care about this costing $5.38. I just need some coffee because I suffer from migraines and this will help. I don't care. Can I just have some regular coffee? I don't, I, I just want the stuff so I can stop having a headache. So mind you this, I just asked her, now mind you this, a latte costs five dollars and some change. I just asked for some coffee. I just have had it. So she like, I can't do an exchange. Are you serious? You're not gonna give me my money and you're not gonna exchange. Girl, I got on that goddamn phone so quick. And I made a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. And I made one with the Merlin Consumer Regulatory Fair. And I made, and it was like, as soon as I did, it was like, ding, ding, ding. And I'm standing there, I'm talking to the lady. I said, so she looking at her phone. And I guess she must have seen that I made the complaint. And it went to her phone real quick. She said, um, is your name Trey Sean's Mouse? I said, yes, that will be me. I said, oh, you just got my complaint. I said, oh, darling, what you didn't know is I got a director friend that worked at Department of Labor for the Consumer and Regulatory Affairs Division for the whole America. See, that's why you don't be nasty to people because you don't know who you're dealing with. So then she trying to be nice. She trying to be nice because she done got my claim already. Yeah, don't deal with, excuse me, ma'am. I don't want anything from you. What I would do is I'll take my business to another McDonald's and I'm going to call Chime and I'm going to dispute and I'm going to get my money back. Have a good day. Oh, she was pissed. Because what she thought was, she I was one of those uneducated Negroes that she can say whatever you want to say to me. No, I'm not going to argue with you, darling. I'm going to pick up my pen and I'm going to make a goddamn claim. I'm going to write it in, darling. I'm not, I don't argue with niggas. That's one thing I don't do. I will pick that pen up and I will tell on your ass. Me going back and forth with you ain't gonna get nothing done. But me sitting up here writing it down and telling about your behaviors and your uncustomer service life ways, 
Oh, that's going to be noted. So the girl, after she said she got the ding ding to her phone and saying that um Miss Miles had put in those two claims. And yes, I do have my best friend is the guy that going um is the assistant attorney general for Prince George's County. I called her right on the phone and said um Anaya, Naya. Let me know what I need to do. Da, 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 da. Oh, now you're like, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, you need to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, girlfriend that was a manager in there, she was very upset with me because you thought I was a dumb Negro. No, honey. No. But anyway, today's prayer is a sweet friendship freshens the soul. And this is funny that we were talking about communicating with people that quote unquote say that you're beefing with them no i just left you alone but anyway proverbs 27 9 says a sweet friendship refreshes your soul so what our our divine is saying we ain't got time for fake people leave them alone if you like my vibe like share and subscribe